Today's going to be great. Man, the sun is shining, the world's locking up, everything's coming up, ISP house. But I have to play the Philippines, so I may jump out the window. Just kidding. I imagine today's episode is going to be absolutely amazing. And we are, uh, we're getting up there in Hoi 4 A to Z. There's not a lot of nations left now. We've got like a quarter left and uh, then we'll be free. Uh, but you know what? Here's a little challenge, okay? Just because I really want to hit 700k subscribers in 2022. So I'm just going to put this out there, right? If we hit... 700k subscribers before I finish Hoi 4 A to Z. I will finish the rest of the episodes that are left by the time I get to 700k. So if we have 15 nations left or 7 nations left, I will finish them all day by day. So you'll get 10 days of uploads in a row or 7 days of uploads in a row. Realistically, I don't think we're going to reach this goal because I am 30k subscribers away, but I guess if everyone hit the sub button right now at this very moment you'd have 20 videos in a row hold on a second all right may it may have just like uh, poisoned the well a little bit there because <laughs> that could come back to bite me but also i don't think that's possible so i'm quite comfortable but anyway on to the video all right it's time we're back to asia um if you know anything about the philippines during this time period this ain't gonna go too well. I don't think I've ever properly checked out the Philippines before, but we've got one division. we got six factories, which uh, a lot of them have been stolen by our American overlords. But we do have quite a bit of manpower and a lot of possibility. But the problem is our possibility is thwarted by the fact that Japanese are going to invade us. So to stop that happening, I've come up with a devious plan to not die and that plan is to shoot the japanese <laughs> now the problem with the philippines and defending it is as you can see it's um it's very undefendable we have a lot of choke points where the japanese could land and it'd be a pain for us to kick them out and all of our islands aren't even connected like this that part little archipelago over here is not connected to over here this is not connected it's a bit of what i like to call hammer to the brain not the mention the fact we have to deal with the fact the Americans are here and stealing everything that we love, aka armaments. Now, I do want to stay under the Americans just because of the simple fact it's going to be too costly by the time we have dealt with the Japanese or the Japanese are coming for us to break free. So instead, we will stay loyal. Oh, sorry, I almost puke saying that out loud. Uh, we do start off with 50% war support, which again is absolutely amazing, and an alright stability, which means we could go up to partial immediately, but instead I'm gonna go ahead and grind out some XP, because we need to make our units very defensive, which actually, hold on, you're almost there. My George! I think he's got it! And by got it, I mean, uh, he's, he can sit in a trench and shoot anyone that approaches him. I'm putting together a team of highly capable men. Yes, you. You know how to use a tank very well. I'm sure we'll find something for you to do in the trenches. I did not even check. What resources do we have? Okay, the entirety of the Philippines has two rubber! Really? There's, there's nothing else in the Philippines but two rubber in a mountain we do get the option to build some stuff down here it's not great but it, it, i guess we might get around to it well, the japanese have expansionist policies in china damn i sure hope i have nothing to worry about as the philippines uh -oh. <laughs> I'm tied to you like an anchor, please, America. Well, hey, Filipino viewers, what's a interesting fact about your country? Uh, here is an interesting fact that I found. I didn't find this, by the way. Braun had to find this. Look at that. That's great. Well done, Braun. You're so cool. All right. Just realize we don't have a single railroad well, as well. Just because uh, we have nothing to trade other than our two rubber. We we might as well go straight up to free trade, baby. That's right. The Filipino market is open, everyone. Don't rush to the two rubber in the mountain. Now, we are going to go down neutrality just because deterrence is way better than anything here. We go. The Filipino markets are about to get way better. <laughs> I mean, by way, bro, I mean six steel and eight chromium. <laughs> it's better than nothing, I suppose. I don't think there's anything particularly that I want to do right now. So I'm just going to sit on... Contr 
construction engineering or increase autonomy it would be good if we got up one on autonomy but that is quite a way away well the axe is doing all right i suppose we haven't pushed through in africa yet and also the japanese once again are sucking ball uh oh <laughs> probably should have made fun of japan eh it's all right we're looking good over here i'm setting up my defenses we've still got a little bit of time before the japanese do declare war on us anywhere from now until like 42 i think it really depends on when the ai really wants to go mental uh, so i'm not gonna have these guys actually on the garrison command because when they do they tend to just uh, start leaving the ports as soon as a invasion lands and the japanese do tend to put a couple down at once so we're just gonna do this manually and hope for the best all right here we go it's uh it's time you sure you don't want to you want to talk to South Japan? <laughs> sure we can have a chat about this. One thing we have to worry about is that our amazing, grateful overlord is actually going to not be terrible. Which in Hoi 4, you'd think wouldn't be asking a lot, but oh, it is quite a lot. <sighs> It's go time. Yep, here they go. Now, if I had it on uh, the proper defense order around here, immediately these guys from this port would start running down to defend. So uh, I'm glad we didn't. We can hold it just fine with these two here. There we go. We fought off the port invasion. They did land a couple up here, which is no problem for me whatsoever. It just means they're now going to die here. I'm not really going to bother actually attacking them until they are completely low strength because uh, guns are hard to come around for us. <laughs> Easy peasy, Japan. The uh, problem is we are going to have the Americans here too, and they are going to complicate our power plans by probably dying of no supply in our country. I would say, we are holding pretty well. Uh, I don't know if us holding is going to allow them to actually move past us, but uh, if our allies are also competent, maybe we won't have a Japan that just stomps over Asia. Hold on, now that I've said that out loud, that's probably what's going to happen. So far, they're only really attacking this area, but I have seen them attack up here and down here before so uh we'll keep an eye out but we're doing well so far uh just as patrick stewart once said in han solo star trek wars uh Thou will not pass by me. Oh, they're getting freaky on me now. They're moving down here. Well, uh, <coughs> last dad. Uh, I'm not really sure how well the American fleet is doing so far, but I haven't seen them uh, get clapped, I think. Uh, I could have missed one, but it looks like it's going okay. Oh, oh God. Oh, that's fine. That's, <laughs> that's just British ships. We don't care about the British ships. Oh, as per regularly scheduled programming, the Soviets are eating shit. Oh, my God. The Americans took Iwo Jima! <laughs> they just landed on this crossing here, which means uh, I'd lose access to all of this, so we best retake that very quickly. There we go. That is them dealt with. Yeah, that's right, America. You're watching? I'm pulling my weight. Did they just sink my car, boys? God damn it. <laughs> I don't think America's too willing to help me that much. I'm going to be real with you, but that does not matter because soon I'll be rid of them. Yeah, and by rid of them, I mean I'll, I'll be a colony of them. We are doing pretty good, though. I am getting well down into my uh my little doctrine down here and uh that's that's actually pretty damn good oh no come on guys <laughs> come on you can do it please do something all right that could be promising uh can you guy you guys don't look too strong there what do you what is going on yeah you know, i just gotta say i got the worst goddamn allies in the world uh, look, technically norway is still holding um <laughs> well, the Mexicans. <laughs> oh, it took a fine minute, but there you go. We are now a colony, and we still have two more to go. Uh, I'm going to go off that now, though, just because I want to go ahead and get ourselves another research slot, please. Oh, my God. That is a bit more than a Dunkirk right there. Oh, why did you do this? Oh, my God. If this... Oh, they're landing with... How many units is that? 41 to... Okay, if they land with this, they might be able to save the 10 billion units they got encircled over here. Sir, it appears that the entire BF has been encircled once again. My God, send 50 billion more units. I think we need to take the scotch away from you, Churchill. Oh, he did not get those out in time. <laughs> All right, well, uh... 
There goes the uh, the second British army. Mobilize the children. Oh, would you look at that? All it took was a few uh, child ch soldiers <laughs> they got the landing. Uh, I'm not liking the look of what's going on over here, though. But uh, there are a bunch of Americans that just landed in my country. So are they perchance? Yep, they are doing a naval invasion. That is a brave one, America. All right, the Japanese have just straight up stopped attacking us for a while now. So we might have to start moving to an offensive capability. If the Americans could give me some... Uh, uh, naval supremacy. I might try land over here because I am currently researching some uh, marines and boats to put them on. Uh, I can't see much, but the Japanese still have their navy and uh, the Americans also still have their navy. And how are the British doing? That is also important. They still have their navy. All right, now that the, uh, the, the child army over here has actually gone ahead and sorted out their supply, they are making some gains. Uh, it's very slow though. And uh, I don't know, if it's gonna hold, but uh, it's definitely better than what they had before. Uh, until they end up sticking another 40 divisions in there and crashing the supply into the ground. Uh oh, <laughs> looks like the Japanese remembered I existed so all of a sudden. You know what? I'm gonna just let those guys land, because that's quite a few divisions landing on literally nothing. <laughs> Hold on, uh, landing in a jungle. Perfect. Oh, never mind. They, they broke off the attack as I retreated. Okay, you got lucky this time, Japan. Oh, now that's a big invasion. Uh, we we should be fine. Ooh, and that is eight infantry divisions now at my disposal. I shall do with you what I please. Also, I love the fact that there's 22 American divisions. They'll just stand it up there. <laughs> Didn't feel like helping me out at all, eh? Well, we got another one down here and another unsuccessful landing. I mean, I guess they technically did land, but, um... We'll see how far they get. They did not get far. The Americans have braved a landing, which is pretty impressive, uh, especially since they're... They're uh, not doing too well over here in China. Thank you, Japan! Better luck next year! Uh, I think I'm gonna need, like, a bigger cemetery. Come to the Philippines! I sure hope you'll enjoy your stay. You definitely won't. Oh, well, they are really after me all of a sudden. Uh, I think you have bigger priorities. Hey, I just overtook America in casualties there. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, papa! Oh no, the Japanese landed and took the magical island where I was keeping the secret answer to the question. Who cares? We'd love for you to explain to me how you lost France, but somehow gained Germany there in that D-Day. Oh, they're all done in Europe. Does that mean you're gonna come save my bacon now? Not that I need saving. I am perfectly fine here. It's just, um... <laughs> you, you kind of forgot about Japan. Oh, please, for the love of Jeebus, anything, don't die! You almost got that landing, but I'm just, I'm just happy to get the Marines out or what's left of them. Go ahead and license a couple destroyers off the Americans just to help with the naval supremacy. But uh, as you can see, their navy is still around and it does a lot of damage. There we go. You're gonna blow my Marines up. I'm gonna blow your fleet up, Japan. All right, this time we got the landing easy peasy. Just sank a Japanese carrier. Nice. I think it looks like the Allies have finally pulled their finger out too, which means I'm gonna go ahead and launch my second naval invasion. These naval bombers are just wreaking havoc everywhere. As I think the AI is panicking to get back to Japan. Oh. <laughs> I, I did not mean for my uh, naval invasion to coincide with that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I guess I guess we took that a lot easier than I thought we would. After all those failed naval invasions they did on me, this is the payback I deserve. Uh, thankfully, yeah, I was just garrison all the land I take behind me, which is fine. And there we go. Philippines number one. No, we actually have to take out their puppet tooth. That's great. We'll go deal with that as well. Our infantry is pretty damn god tier at this point. So we're just going to battle pan through. And uh, hopefully the AI follows suit. And considering they just, yep, they landed everything they have here. I think we'll be fine. Actually have 5% of the war participation. Mostly I assume down to those 46 enemy ships I have sunk. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. China capitulated. Um, can I take these islands, please? I deserve them. Hey. There you go, the Filipino Occupation Force. <laughs> We're not done just yet, just one more thing I need to do. <sighs> there you go. Filipino freedom. Uh, I gotta say, we, we definitely earned it. We very much earned it. Yeah, that was good. 
that was a fun game. I had a lot of fun today. Uh, I didn't even realize we played to 47. Oh, Lord. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below. And I'm going to catch you all on the flippity flip. And remember to hit that subscribe button. But uh, till next time, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>